and we can choose how we will live. In the same way, we also choose how we will die. We always have the existential choice to select activities in the mode of ignorance, passion, or goodness. From that existential choice, everything else is determined as a consequence, even our death. If we choose to live in ignorance, then there is really no happiness, only a futile attempt to escape suffering through intoxication, sleep, and laziness. If we choose passion, then a little transient happiness may be there in the beginning, but there will be poison and defeat in the end. If we choose goodness and follow the rules and regulations of pious life, religious life, and walk the spiritual path, then we can expect to experience ever-increasing spiritual pleasure. So what will it be? The choice is up to each and every one of us. Nectar in the beginning and poison at the end? Or a little poison in the beginning and then ever-increasing immortal spiritual nectar at the end? So, again, I have to go back to my personal experience with the esoteric teaching. When I first encountered this teaching, I was a musician. I was playing with uh, jazz bands, touring on a professional level, uh, being pretty successful. Uh, I wasn't famous, but I was making it and having a pretty good time. And I loved music. Uh, I loved being a musician. It was very difficult to me to accept that I was going to have to give up.